Hello, Carstore here, and this will be a short video covering UV layout and manually editing vertices in the UV screen space. You may recognize the shape from my previous video here where I've used a sphere and split all the trigons around the poles and one edge all the way around from pole to pole. So I'm going to drop that into the UV space and perform a bloat flatten on that. And as before in the previous video, you can see that some of the trigons around the poles have become inverted and are actually pointing inside the mesh and are overlapping. And uh, these two trigons here are also overlapping each other. So the regular flattening tools that we discussed last time, the F key and the B key, the flattening brush, as well as the Shift F bloat flattening, are just not going to fix this. You're going to have to manually edit these points. So to do that, we need to press the control and the middle mouse button while hovering over a vertex. And then you can pull that vertex around any way you wish. And of course, you'll see there that it's in live preview there, changing uh, its colors to reflect the the same dis distortion that we discussed previously, with blue being uh, polygons here that are larger in the UV space than they are in the 3D space, and red is where the polygons are smaller in the UV space than they are in 3D space. But that's how you manually edit each vertex at a time, and that is uh, pretty tedious, as you might, might guess. The shift and middle mouse button will create a falloff. So the circle represents the fa an area of falloff and influence. And so you can gradually nudge things down with a little bit more control and precision. And you'll see that we can get all of these trigons looking a lot more cleaner than uh, they, they do by default. The size of that falloff can be adjusted using the plus and minus keys that are beside the backspace key on your keyboard. So with the larger brush, we can influence a larger area. And one thing I like to do is actually start well outside the mesh and gradually approach it from a distance. And it just gives you a little finer grained control and making the brush influence size a lot smaller. Although it takes a little longer to work this way, gives you the greatest control of all. So you can see that uh, it's pretty easy to get these, these triangles properly sized and with a minimal amount of distortion. And if we increase the size of the brush again, and we actually bring it a little bit closer this time, we can start to influence the size of the, the quad polygons here in this row. And with a little bit more patience, eventually bring, get everything looking much better and much closer to being distortion free. So I won't bother recording the entire editing sequence there. Uh, that should be enough to, to get you started using these two tools. Future videos in the UV layout series will probably be short like this one and just cover one specific set of tools. Thanks a lot and I hope this helps you out with your UV layouts.